understand how to cultivate how to cultivate that um, mindset of, of being comfortable saying no, being comfortable delegating. This is something that we found with our members is especially difficult for young women. It's tough. Um, and, and we'd love to just hear your take yeah. on that. And maybe any advice you have to share about that. I met Bill Gates, Bill Gates in 1991. And when I did it, we had a great time talking. Uh, he thought he was going to hate it, and I'd, I, I wasn't too keen on it either. And, and about <laughs> 10 hours later, we were still talking. But what really got him was when I pulled out this little date book. I'm probably the only guy in the United States with one of these still. What, oh, you've no, I got have that. one over there. <laughs> <laughs> and I just flipped through it, and, you know, there's, there's practically nothing in it. And Bill was really impressed by that. And uh, uh, you've got to keep control of your time. And, and you won't con keep control of your time unless you can say no. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you can't let other people set your agenda in life. And, of course, I know I'm in a very fortunate position on that because I, I, I and in another way, I'm not so fortunate because more people ask me for things. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 they're, and they're usually friends and they say, well, can't you just make this one talk or right. attend this one graduation or whatever it may be. Uh, you know, you, you, you've got to, you just have to develop the ability to say no and, and, and uh, do it a few times. Uh, I mean, you know, a woman can't say no, she's in trouble, right? Right, <laughs> right. And I mean, is this something that becomes easier over time? How did you... And I don't think it's a lot easier. No, it is, it's, there's a couple, there's a few things that really just are uncomfortable. I, I, the thing I like, the, the thing I dislike the most, the, the only thing I really dislike in connection with my job, is if I have to fire somebody. I mean, that does not get easy for me. It does easier for me because life is not hard. And saying no is not like firing people, but it's got a little bit of the same aspect to it. It's not easy to say no, particularly to a friend. Uh, but I will have every day three or four or five requests to do something, and I, I can't do them all. You know, and uh, uh, I'm, I, but I'm not promising it gets easier. <laughs> but but just keep doing it. Uh, right. Otherwise, uh, other people will be running your life. Saying no is the foundation of living a life on your terms. Everybody has an opinion on what you should do with your life. Everybody wants you to do something. Your parents, your guidance counselor, your friends, the family, the people around you, your kids, your husband, your wife. Everybody left to their own devices would have this entire plan for what you should do. <laughs> and it'd be totally different from each other. And this is why so many people are stressed out is because you feel like you're tied to other people's expectations of you and where you should be taking your life. And it's impossible to live up to all these other people's expectations. It's impossible. It's impossible to be the person that your parents want you to be. It's impossible to be the person that your friends want you to be. It's impossible to, to live all of these different lives. And in the middle somewhere is a 